the bottom display is a frequency counter that I bought off of eBay. And its specifications, let me get my piece of paper here, is uh, from 1 hertz to 50 megahertz. I I can't cover that entire range, but uh, we can do a few frequencies here. Right now we're at 45 hertz. And now I'm going to change the frequency. Hopefully I don't knock over anything or disrupt it too much. Yeah, let's see here. It's a little tricky because I can't... Uh, i got to do it from a distance. But here we are. Okay, this is 106K. And uh, it's uh, pretty impressive. I forgot to mention that uh, this is a kit, by the way. And they're easy to find. Uh, you'll have no problem at all. Just remember the specifications on this one. It's from 1 hertz to 50 megahertz. Okay, let's go up. Again. Okay, now we're at 1 meg and looks like uh, 725 or something like that. Okay, I'm going to go up again this frequency counter and here we're at 10 meg dot 6 so uh, this is very interesting to me uh, pretty reasonable frequency counter the uh, upper I forgot to mention the upper frequency counter is a fluke and I've had that for a few years and the bottom one of course is brand new and in a very small package and it is also running on 9 volts. Now I've got a, another display. This one's a kit the next one is not a kit and I'm gonna go through the same frequencies and uh, see what it looks like okay here's the other display and its frequency that it handles is dot one megahertz to 65 megahertz uh, or another way is uh, 100k hertz to 65 megahertz. Well, 45 is well below. And I don't have the bottom display hooked up because I didn't know this would happen. I'm going to disconnect the bottom or the generator and hook this up to the bottom display. If I can do this without knocking something over. There we go. Come here probe. Okay. Oops. Fell off naturally. Okay. There we go. I'll hook the probe up. I haven't changed the frequency. And 
and I need to hook the ground back up. Yeah, come on. Alrighty. And what I found out was with both of them hooked up, uh, evidently the bottom display puts out a frequency when it's not displaying. So, well, that's okay. Uh, it's not supposed to display anything until we get over 100k. So, I'm going to change the frequency of the generator. And, let's see here. Get the last two here. I wish I could be right on top of this. It's awfully hard to do at arm's length. There we go. Alright. So, now the bottom one is reading. And, uh, it's just a little over uh, the bottom of its scale of 100K, 106K. And that's looking pretty good, really. So, let me up the frequency again. Okay. Now this is 1 meg 67. And again, that's looking pretty darn good. So, um, and uh, again, the display is running, or uh, the bottom display is running on 9 volts. Okay, let me up the voltage, or the voltage, the frequency again. There we go. And now it reads 10.7, the bottom one 10.7. 7069 and sometimes 7 and that's not bad really again you'll be able to find these on eBay very easily all you have to do is look for the frequency ranges that I gave you I'm going to go back down here to uh, if I can get this back on. There we go. That's down to one meg here. You'll be able to find these very easily. And this one is not a kit, by the way. It is uh, it comes built and calibrated. As a matter of fact, I have one uh, waiting for me, or another one waiting for me in the mailbox, which I'm going to go out and get now. So anyway, I hope you found this interesting. It's, it's pretty amazing to me how accurate these things are. And uh, like I said, they're easy to find on eBay. So, thanks for watching.